Welcome back to Doesn't Pay Full Price, where I thought we could start today off with a little joke. Why couldn't the chef get into his car? Because he didn't smash the like button to help this video out. Okay, so there is a real punchline, but you're gonna have to wait till the end of the video, and no skipping ahead, trust me, I'll know. Today we are talking about fluffy, pillowy soft pasta dumplings known only as gnocchi. We're making the potato version today, which takes a little bit longer than the ricotta version, so let's just get right into cooking. The ingredients list is pretty simple. You'll need potatoes, about a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, one egg, and two teaspoons of salt. Those potatoes should also be peeled, by the way. There we go. For the hardware, you'll need a potato ricer. You can use a potato masher. It just won't get quite as fluffy. A big old pot to cook everything in. And your everyday household gnocchi board. If you don't have one of these, you can go out and pick out a specialty product. It's known as a fork. And this will work just as well. So let's get to tackling these potatoes. Cut up two pounds of your peeled russet potatoes into even cubes, and you're gonna wanna use a nice starchy potato like a russet for this. Don't use Yukon Golds, don't use red potatoes. Add them all to your big old pot and cover with cold tap water until fully submersed. Then we're gonna bring this to our friendly neighborhood stove. Put it over high heat and bring it to a boil. And if you're wondering why we started with cold water, it's because if we started with boiling water, then the outside of the potato would cook before the inside got a chance to cook. After about 15 to 20 minutes, use your fork and gently test. And if it goes through and breaks up like that, your potatoes are good to go. So go ahead and strain these out. Oh yeah, this, I forgot to add this to the equipment list. You don't need it, I guess, but it certainly helps. Strain out your potatoes. And then while they are hot, we're gonna break out the ricer and add those potatoes into the ricer a little bit at a time and just gently press and fluffy goodness comes out the other side. You can try this from multiple angles. I like first person the best. And then we're gonna let these cool for about 15 minutes. Now it's time we make uh, the gnocchi. So I've got my riced potatoes here. If you're noticing that the bowl is different, it's because that glass one had a crack in it and I switched it to the stainless steel bowl. So to the potatoes, we're gonna add one egg and then a spatula. Yeah, I also left this off the equipment list. We're just gonna mix that egg in, add your two teaspoons of salt, and then cup and a half of flour. I like to add it just a little bit at a time, maybe one third at a time. Give it a good old mix. And then, you know what? I'm just gonna use my hands for this so you can leave that spatula off the list. Win for me. And you just wanna work it in, slowly adding flour until it forms a nice smooth dough. You don't wanna over mix this, otherwise it'll get chewy. So flour up a work surface. We're gonna dump that dough out on there. Just work it till it forms a nice even shape. We're going to cut this in half using a bench scraper. I know, also not on the list. You could also use a knife. We're going to separate this into two batches so it's easier to work with. So just cut it right down the middle, set half aside, and then with the other half, we're just going to slowly work it into a cylinder that's about a half inch in diameter. I like to start with the pressure in the middle and then work my hands outward from there. You may have to cut this in half again, depending on the size of your work surface. So with pressure in the middle, slowly work out the ends until it's one even cylinder just like this and then we're going to cut these into one inch pieces i like to line them up together just do two rows at a time that way you're not doing this all day long and just do this about a hundred times until all your pieces are cut and we can start shaping Ta-da! my favorite gnocchi shape just happens to be the easiest so using your index finger just gently push right in the center of the gnocchi about halfway down and it leaves you with the perfect fluffy pillow with a divot for holding on to broth or sauce. And it's so fast and easy. But I know you too well. You want that traditional gnocchi, the one you've seen on the Instagram and the TV with all the ridges. Well, come on. I'll show you how to do it. So get yourself a gnocchi board. And then grabbing the sides and using gentle pressure from your index finger, you're going to push down the board and gently roll the gnocchi all the way down. And that leaves you with the picture perfect shape. And if you notice, all those ridges that are perfect for gripping onto a sauce, only achievable through the board, but you can come close with a fork. So take your gnocchi the same way, and then just using your index finger and thumb, roll it down. You can see the difference. You don't get as many ridges, but it's still pretty good in my book. As you shape each batch, just throw them on a well-floured sheet pan, and you can either put these right in the freezer or cook them right away. I think about 20 dumplings per person is perfect. Put them into gently simmering water just until they float for about two minutes. Then strain them off, add them back to the pan with your favorite red sauce. 
And then a little chef's trick, add about a tablespoon of butter to your tomato sauce. And just give it that extra depth and flavor, and then you are ready to eat. So plate them up, top with a little Parmesan cheese, and enjoy. Gnocchi is one of my favorite things to make. It's so versatile. You could do regular potato, sweet potato, drop it in a soup, bake it with cheese, or it just goes great with your favorite jar of red sauce. But I know why you're all waiting around. Why couldn't the chef get into his car? And it's because he had gnocchi. Ah, ah, I'm sorry about that. It is good though. Don't forget, all the recipes are gonna be in the description below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please think about doing it now. Go ahead. And I will see you next time. Cheers. We are making the potato version today, which takes slightly longer than the ricotta version. So let's not dilly-dally. <laughs> dilly-dally?